Welcome to another Mars Play video. This is Mars Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off with the Hexagon City Builder Terrascape. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so we're back and um, where we last left off, uh, we had just finished our original quest and now we're at the point where we're at a new location. We have a couple water spots here, some mountains here. So right now we're just trying to find out, find some good locations to put our iron mine and um, also making sure that we got our fishery set up and any bodies of water that we see on the map. As you can see, I'm just kind of moving around here, looking at the numbers, see if they go up or down before deciding where I'm going to drop my uh, my iron mine. So uh, let's just go ahead and continue to, to scan around the map here and look for some good locations for some of our buildings. And then we'll just kind of continue on from there. So there's not many bodies of water on this map. I count maybe two small ones and a large one. I pretty much already filled up that upper left one there. So now I'm going to probably start working on this larger piece of water. Now I got a lot of fishing boats that I've unlocked. So I'll just make sure that I put those everywhere. But the goal is to get as many points as possible so that we can advance to the next age. As you can see over there uh, on the left side, I have age three, four, three and uh, two fours. It looks like uh, so as I continue to grow my town, you know, from small villages to hamlets all the way up to cities, that's going to allow me to level up. And when I level up, I'm going to get more experience points so that I can expand and get more building options.
Now I'm getting quite a few uh, points from dropping these charcoal burners and these iron mines down. That one just gave me 105 points. Um, but there's plenty of mountains here on this map. So as long as I put the iron mines right, the hexagon tower right next to a mountain range, that usually gives me at least 45 points from what I've been seeing. So um, we're running out of mountains right now. So we're always going to have to be dropping foresters and lumberjack uh, camps, especially the foresters, because I think um, not haven't tested this, but I think they kind of grow the forest um, tiles, number of tiles there is. But you don't get a lot of a lot of points when it comes to putting the foresters down and the lumberjacks, but they're a good fill in option. So um, bodies of water again, fishing traps, fishing boats, always going to look to to drop those. But it uh, seems like the the real point gatherer is for the mines, the iron mines. So if I see any opportunities or empty hexagons to to drop those uh, squares, and you know, I keep saying um, um, that I'm going to fill out these bodies of water, um, but it's just not a lot of room in some of these smaller smaller lakes uh, eventually i'm gonna run out of space to be honest so i'm gonna have to explore other ways where i can get points and if i put iron mines everywhere i'm probably gonna be running out points pretty quick and make it hard for me to level up so we did unlock a smelter here so just gotta find a place next to either a town or an iron mine to get the most bang 77 points that's a really good placement there so so yeah we're just gonna continue to, to do this just scan around a map and we're just looking for big point payouts
All right, looks like we leveled up. Sediment one level reached. Major milestone. We got a couple of new cars that we've unlocked that we can use now. Stoneworks, city, beverages, and food. So definitely going to be putting those stoneworks next to the mountain ranges. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, make use of those other cars in other locations as we see fit. So curious to see how much points we get for the stoneworks. Uh, so far at the highest I've seen is 45 and it looks like that's probably going to be the highest. I'm kind of cruising around the mountains here. I really don't see a whole lot of options for anything higher than 45. So, so we'll take our 45s. We'll just kind of keep spreading around. Kind of the same points we were getting at a minimum for the iron mine. But no triple digit points. Um, and I haven't seen the other newer cards. So I'm just kind of like. I think the more I place down cards, the, the more I'll get an opportunity to use some of those newer cards. But, oh, 110 points. That's a very good spot. Any other 100 point spot. 60 is really good. That's better than 45. So, uh, 80, that's really good as well. So, used up all those cards. I have one charcoal burner card left. Clone a building. That is new. So I have one clone the building card. I just got to find a good building that's going to give us a good payout. I have plenty of lumberjack cards at seven, 14 Forrester cards, and one charcoal burner card. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate this storehouse because the storehouse seems to give us quite a bit of points. I got 100 last time I put that down. So let's see if we can find 45 might be the highest. Oh, I do see a 90. Um, Yeah. So I think we're just going to have to stick with them. Oh, there's a 100 point drop. Let's go ahead and get that. Just like the other storehouse. And anything new. We got to place the mountain random card. So notice uh, as you get these big point bon uh, bonuses, you get these bonus cards here. Looks like I got seven of them, so I can put seven new mountain ranges up. So that's going to be good. That'll help us out with the iron mine. So just going to kind of look around, see where we would benefit in dropping some more mountains.
All right, so we got another clone building option here. Look and see if there's anything that we want to copy. There's a monastery here that is uh, got a really big range uh, of tiles where you can really soak in some points. So I'm going to kind of look around here. Some really good points here. 120 points. Really good payout there. Uh, maybe if I can clone that monastery, I can put two down, get you know double points there. So let's see. A lot of 100 points. There's 129 points. We'll go ahead and take that. And only thing we have left is a Forester, but we have some more. We can drop some more mountains, add some more villages. Um, quite a bit of choices, I think, if we want to just go ahead and, and uh, expand out. We can just keep dropping some more villages. And uh, let's see here. I really don't want to put the villages out in open field because I'd like to kind of keep them stuck to some forest woods areas. So, yeah, we'll figure that out as we go. All right, so we unlock this chapel. Pretty good pay, most likely we're gonna get. And there you go. And with that, it's like we have leveled up 
and completed this map. So I think at this point, it is a great point where we're going to put a bookmark in the video, come back in the future, possibly play this game again, next chapters, we'll see. So as usual, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. And we will see you in the next video.